Mummy blogger Sophie Kokulash. At her co-stars and the producers of Australian Survivor, Blood v Water and February after she was booted from her tribe. But speaking to Daily Mail Australia on Friday as part of Virgin Australia's Pride flight to Sydney, Sophie revealed there is no tension between the cast and crew now. It has been six months since it was all filmed so it is fine, the 31-year-old said, adding that she's made many beautiful friendships. Hinting at editing having played a major part, Sophie went on to say, we all know what really happened out there and we can see the televised version. At the end of the day, you have 24 adults together on an island and what happens happens. Last month, Sophie was evicted from the Blood Tribe in a shock blindside orchestrated by Sandra Diaz Twine, but things took a turn when she joined the Water Tribe rather than leaving the competition altogether. While viewers understand backstabbing is standard practice in the world of Survivor, Sophie was left astonished and enraged by the betrayal. The former WAG, who has since been voted off, unleashed on the show's cast and crew in a series of eyebrow-raising Instagram stories at the time. She began by explaining she had chosen to work rather than watch the episode, saying she felt too much anxiety to tune in. Sophie continued, The lies created to save their own s turned really personal and I wasn't having a part of it. It hurt me and a lot of others. Mutual friends have confirmed it was a part of, their, plan from way before production even began when they knew I was on it. It was f**king horrible and they know exactly what I'm talking about. The mother of two said her bad experience on set still affected her life today. It's a game is one thing, and I always credit impeccable gameplay. But what one person did was beyond what I could deal with and I'm still clearly affected today. That type of SD isn't for me, she said. She followed this up with another Instagram post, this time directing her rage at the Australian Survivor crew and producers. I'm also really disappointed in production again. Everyone could see us talking the whole time. We made a set deal on that podium, Sophie said of a scene in which she asked co-star Samantha Gash to protect her allies in the game. Samantha went on to betray Sophie's trust by voting her out. I told her she could win and get the victory in front of both tribes, but in return, my boys would be safe and they wouldn't be picked off. I put my trust in her again, she moaned. And I swear on my children's f king lives of that and hold my head high for that decision. I wouldn't involve my children if it wasn't the truth. That's my loyalty to my people. That's me. Elsewhere in her chat with Daily Mail Australia on Friday, Sophie laughed off rumors she was paid $200,000 to star on the show with her sister Kate. If I was paid $200,000 I would have made sure I got voted off the first week, she said. I was paid zero for appearing on the show. For me it was about realizing a childhood dream, 